Simi Farm guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22, and this is the Volvo HD Bucket by FS Miner, 1.17 megabytes to download, and um, slots. We'll check the slots later. However, before I go any further, I must pre-warn everyone looking at this particular bucket because you must have the Platinum Expansion DLC purchased installed and activated on the map you are using it on because there is only two excavators that this will go on and these are the two volvo excavators that come with the platinum dlc um the platinum expansion dlc by giants so if you have an excavator this will not as as far as i know it will not hook up to them uh, as far as I know it will only hook up to the two excavators that come with the platinum expansion DLC those two excavators are found under vehicles and forestry machines and whoop here they are so the uh, EC 25 or 250 DL and the EC 380 DL now when you do go in here to buy them you must uh, the configuration you must choose fast coupler all right same with the next one if you go in here you have to go over to fast coupler in order to use this mod right so now that you have the excavator let's go find the bucket <laughs> the rabbit kicked the bucket um there it is, the HD bucket, $2,900. And this bucket has something very special um, to offer. The weight starts out at 2,500 uh, liters. And uh, the description on the Mod Hub does not tell this, but it can go up to 4,500 liters or even 20,000 liter capacity, which we are definitely going to, definitely going to check out uh, in this video. And uh, we got it all set up, ready to go. So, and no extra charge for the extra capacity either. So I'm very, actually, I have not picked it yet. I have it all set up. I have one of each bucket here. So I do believe this fellow here, let's get our, um, and let's get our crop in for oh, wrong one. Here we go. Let's make sure we have our field info on here and we have our, there we go. Volvo H. Oh, it doesn't tell me which one it is. Right. So let's hop in. I do believe this is the, no, this is the 380, 250 here. I do believe this is the small bucket. So. I haven't really played much with these excavators. Oh, before I do that, I should show you how to hook it up. Right, so when you buy the excavator, this attacher here is in this position. Let's hop in and show you just a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself, I apologize. Let's turn some lights on. All right, so R1 uh, moves your arm up and down like that and left and right there. Uh, that's L1. R1, up and down, left and right, moves your bucket. See that? So right now it's all the way up. So what we want to do is go down, move towards the bucket. Whoops, too much towards, but oh dear. There we go. Yeah, the controls are a little bit wonky for me. Uh, okay, let's get straightened out here. Okay, let's lift it up a little bit because you don't have to be right on top of it. There we go. All right, so we're above it now. Sorry, I can't. Is there a... There we go. So now what we want to do, R1 and left stick. There we go. See, the, the trigger pops up. Bam. Bam. We're hooked up. Now we're good to go. Um, and uh, there we go. Kind of has a, has a neat 
when you pull it in it stays straight kind of very neat kind of a little action okay let's let's get to picking up some stuff here right how easy is it to pick up these rocks uh, uh the, oh uh, there we go 2008 liters all right see there we go we have picked it up now if we spin around any is there anything else remove bucket collision yes okay so l1 and x folding is not allowed while the tool is filled oh, okay what okay uh let's uh let's see if we can dump it in here without making too much of a mess there we go and it's empty right so can now now can we oh then now we can remove the bucket collisions now why would you want to do that will it still let me fill it oh yes look at that that actually uh, that actually m more simulates uh, come on there we go uh, these controls are a little bit there we go that X oh it pours out kind of weird okay let's get that other way <laughs> the removing collisions on the bucket kind of simulates simulates assimilates simulates the real action of a bucket so let's try that again l1 and x we have removed the collision on the bucket so that if we are lowering it down to the ground you can actually pretend to be in the ground and these camera angles are terrible. There we go. Okay. Now this is the next step up. So this should be about the 4,500. And come on, scoop, 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 scoop. There we go. And up and up and out and open oh it's kind of the animation's a little bit weird because it's pouring out sideways so that's the 4500 liters now on to the big daddy of them all the big 20,000 liter bucket and of course i'm pretty sure it's going to react the same let's get the remove bucket collision and there we go Can we even get it full here? There we go. We have filled the bucket. I'm sure you'll get used to the controls. Um, it's a little bit different than any of the other controls I have used. And I, like I said, I have not used these excavators much or at all actually let's see if we can dump it in here there we go uh the animation's a little bit sideways but having a twenty thousand liter bucket is a um, very much more well user friendly I get a lot more work done with 20,000 liters. So, but you have the option to have a smaller one if you choose. And there you have it. Of course, the bucket will carry anything that's on the ground. So if it's on the ground, you can pick it up like rocks, uh, fertilizer, whatsoever. Iron ore. I tried pouring iron ore on the ground here, but it wouldn't let me for some reason. But... Um, on silver run there's iron ore on the ground you could definitely use this 
uh, with this bucket to pick it up there probably make quick work of it and there you have it that's the Volvo HD bucket platinum expansion DLC required for those of you who maybe missed it at the beginning 1.17 megabytes to download this is by FS minor all platforms platinum DLC required and slots slots you say uh, miscellaneous there we go two slots on console there you have it thank you all for watching I'm Lunar Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now <laughs>